And greetings everyone, Fontaine here, VIPSoundLab.com, back on a Native Instruments Machina MK3 hardware controller in its MIDI control mode. Why? Because I had a, a tutorial request from a member who was wanting to use the MK3 in its MIDI controller mode to control Ableton Live 9. So why not? So what I did was I went ahead and I made some custom mappings. And if you guys want to enhance this template, feel free. Anyone's wondering how to download it, just simply log into the website, go to the member section, scroll down below and click on member downloads. OK, so let's take a look at the template and look at some of the features. All right. So in this template, as you can see, I have the pads color coded here. OK, from a purple kind of color to lavender to blue to green, you know, just to make it nice and neat. And I have a zone range, as you can see right here from E2 to G3. I did 16 sounds. If you want to enhance it, you can go ahead and you can enhance it further. But I figured this was a good starting point. And the key to this uh, template here is ease of use. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the meat and the potatoes of the template. As you can see right here, what I did was I took group button A and B to arm the track, as you can see right here. Unarmed, you notice how the button here turns red. Arm the track, the light goes to white. Okay, if we hit the group B button here, we can mute it. You can see it turns white. And to activate it, it goes back to orange. So I think that's a great feature when you want to get in there and arm your tracks really quick and, you know, mute tracks and things of that nature. OK, as you can see, we have the arranger button here. Now, this serves a different function here for the looper. As you can see right here, this is loop on. And I'll scroll this over just a little bit. Loop off. If the playhead happens to be somewhere here in the track, using the file save and settings button here. We'll navigate the playhead back to the beginning. Hit and settings will bring it to the end of the loop. So this is like the left and right arrow. In other words, beginning, ending, beginning, ending. Very easy, very straightforward. And that's the key here. I want to make this template very easy and very user friendly. OK, and the record buttons here. Right where it should be. Pressing stop again will unarm the track. OK, pressing play, of course, will have the playhead play. OK, very simple, very efficient. OK, and taking the other uh, or rather taking a look at some of the other features on here, of course, the meat and the potatoes is the drum, <clears throat> excuse me, is the drum pads themselves. Very simple, very easy, very straightforward. So let's take a look at actually using the template. And this drum loop here, I believe, is at 82 beats per minute, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and use the template itself and get this track recording. Right, and I will double click on the clip itself here. And I might have been just a little lazy here on the, the MIDI notes here. This guy right here looks a little off here. And this guy right here also looks a little off here. We'll straighten this out. We'll get some things straightened out here. You know, an easier way would, would have been just to simply just highlight everything and Press the quantize key, but right now I'm using the mouse like this here. I could have went to edit like this and just press quantize like this or command U. Let's go ahead and get this a little more on time here. Okay, that's looking pretty good there. And what we'll do is we'll press play. Rewind that. We got unarmored track here. Here's the mute. Just want to show you guys that the mute works. 
not hearing it. Hearing it. All right, so that's pretty much it. And let's take a look at the mappings themselves. So what we'll do is we'll bring up the controller editor template here. Take a look at the mappings here. And in the template, I'm gonna include the ALS file here, as well as the template here. As you can see right here, the template is called VIP Sound Lab Ableton MK3 template. And of course, here's the mappings and everything color coded and things of that nature. And then, you know, if you wanna tweak it further, you can come in here under the assignments and things of that nature and get in here and, you know, flip it however you wanna flip it. All right, so that's pretty much it. I will see you guys on the next one. Be sure to head over to www.vip sound lab. If you're not a member, we have a one-time payment that's $9.99 with no monthly fees. You can go from a silver membership, gold, private access, all the way up to a platinum, which is what 99.9% .9 of most members sign up for the platinum. And we give you every drum kit and expansion on our website bundled on a, either a one terabyte portable hard drive, or you can do a, uh, a handy flash drive. So it's up to you. And that's pretty much it. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.